Okay, so we're back at this part. Let's uh let's try that again. So I was trying not to kill them out floating over the water because uh, you can't get anything if they die over there. But I, I suppose oop, I shouldn't really worry about that. Considering I killed these guys floating over the air, there's not really any reason to kill them over there though. Because there's an item I want to get from them. I don't, don't mind getting more transient curses, there's nothing wrong with that. Stab you through the floor. So as I said, you can jump over this gap if you are wearing light armor. I'm not going to bother trying to do that. That seems like a bad idea to me. There's more ghosts in here, but I think I may have activated the ones I was thinking of just a moment ago. Ah, oh, there we go. The Jagged Ghost Blade. Now, if I really wanted to, I could attack the... Um, it's a deck. No, it's a sword. Okay, it's a curved sword. Yeah, I could attack the ghosts without uh, any problem. It's pretty strong, actually. Uh, 155 strength is pretty great. Alright, this is one of those times where... Wrath of the Gods will do some work. Die, ghosts! Okay, any more ghosts in here? Nope, there's one. Yeah, because they can go through walls and stuff like that, uh, it's quite dangerous to mess around with them. Nope. Get up, because they can uh, travel between the different floors. They won't come up here, though. Up here, we could see this guy from a distance if I, if I tried, but uh, this is one of these sealers. Remember, we have his stuff in actually one of those uh, spear catalysts. Well, this is a surprise. I get few visitors, save for ghosts. You have the Lord Vessel. Very impressive. I know exactly what your intentions are. You seek the four kings whom I guard over. This is the key to the seal. You can get this by killing him, uh, which is a key to doing one of the covenants. The four kings slumber in the deepest chamber of the ruins. Use this key to break the seal and open the floodgates. Oh, and do not forget, the dark wraiths reside in a dark void called the Abyss. But the Abyss is no place for ordinary mortals. Although... Long ago, the knight Artorius traversed the abyss. If you can find him and learn from him, the abyss may prove surmountable. So that's, I, I guess, our indication of what we're supposed to do with the uh, with the abyss. Okay. I thought somebody said it. Um, so I guess if you, you know, you didn't know that you. We're like, okay, so I can get this thing called the Artorius' Seal, and then, you know. I think Andre actually mentioned something about, uh, oh, I'm out of, uh, ghost juice.
long ass animation on that sucks. Die, ghost. Alright. And there is no bonfire in here. At all. Ghost in the wall. Uh, so, basically the... The one at uh, Firelink is the only bonfire you're gonna get. In this area. You gonna come down? There it is. In the wall. Ghosts are super annoying. Uh, oddly enough, though, you could, when you get past a certain part, you don't even have to uh, fight that many ghosts. Okay. So, actually, I want to go around that way. Oh, no, 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 no. I don't want to do that. I want to go down. Right. Because going down makes you go up. Eventually. So this is over the gap there. And if you kill the ghosts before over there, you can get over to here without any problems. Should let you get a green titanite shard. Which, you know, not very impressive, but... If this, if you went here really early, then you can pick that up and get a, make a magical item from uh, Rickert without any trouble. There is something else to do with this building before I do that. You can go around, and in the back of it, there is another door. Which leads you out here get you a curse bite ring which is probably not what you would want for this area honestly but uh, the areas that do have lots of enemies that curse you and we haven't really seen the most dangerous enemy that has cursed it's not like poison where there's like uh, there's a boss that does poison you um, much later uh, but it's not really that big of a deal. Um, usually. But it's not like poison where... Poison's just kind of a nuisance, and toxic is something that you'll pretty much always die from, no matter what, unless you have the items that let you cure it. Um, so resistance is not necessarily as important for that, if that's something you could actually say. So here's where the seal is. If you use the key to seal, you can open this door. But first I want to show you what's up here. Because this leads to a slightly different area. Up here. If we go out here, we are now overlooking the Valley of the Drakes. And we can get a composite bow here, which is kind of a, a strength bow. It's, it's a bit weird. And we can see there's an item down there. Uh, I, If I look correctly. Trust me, there's, there's an item down there on that tower. Can I see it from here? I guess I'm looking in the wrong place. Um, we could have gone here a lot earlier, and I usually do, but I didn't feel like dicking around with those dragons that, that early in the game. Um, usually I'll just kill myself a bunch of times fighting them. So, uh, we still can't pull this lever because, uh, well, the elevator is flooded. So, he said to open the floodgates and that's exactly what we're gonna do here. You remember there's a big gate out in the, uh, the Valley of the Drakes.
I always wonder where that uh, hole in the roof is. I would presume that's over near Firelink somewhere. Okay, so now I can actually uh, use the elevator here. If I wished. Which I do. Now we can go to the lower part. I, I say the lower part. You can get to a lot of places that are of equal level with the uh, the main area. You can see it's all kind of slimy. And it's full of dead bodies. We're going to be seeing a new enemy down here, which is quite uh, quite formidable. But first, let's uh, harass these dragons here. Oh, I guess I should have my pyromancy jobby here for this. Take that, dragon. Let me, dragon bro. Okay. So there's... Well, I was going to say there's four of them, but there's there's three on this bridge here. Or this, this entrance part. Um, hmm. Lightning Spear does damage them. Just not a whole lot. What about Great Lightning Spear? Ah, it's alright. I aggroed both of them. They're flying at me. Later, bros. I probably shouldn't be using all my spells on these guys, actually. I should just hit them with my weapon. Or not fight them at all. You can see how much damage they take before they die. That's a lot of damage no matter what, what part of the game you're at. Where did the other one go? Oh. I can hear a friend coming. These are Dark Wraiths. Um, they're actually a lot easier than they look. Uh, they're kind of talked about a lot in the game as being these super dangerous guys. And to an extent, they are really dangerous, but uh, they're not as dangerous as they've been made out to be, I suppose. Now here's something that they do. They fly around. Um, I think what happened to one of them is that those guys can actually jump themselves off of a cliff. Uh, even if they have wings, they, they still can do that. There we go. And they often do that when they do that attack. That long swoop where they're shooting. There we go. They very rarely drop dragon scales. Let's see. Now, one of the things about the dragons that you can do is that they are vulnerable to bleed attacks. Um, hmm. One of the few bleed weapons I actually am fairly certain I could use well would be the the uh, the barbed long or uh, not long sword, uh, straight sword that I got from uh, what's his name. The 
the spirit dude from the, the ruins. Uh, or actually, Lost Isolith. I think I got it. No, I got the sword in uh, the ruins. Ooh, this is getting dicey. I could use the. Uh, Eagle shield for this, but I'm not particularly wanting to be hit with the lightning attacks, so I'm kind of banking on dodging the those. It's the physical attacks I'm truly worried about here, which is probably a mistake. There we go. Well, most of the reasons I didn't fight them earlier in the game is because my weapon was too weak, I thought. Now there's another thing that's unlocked out here. Uh, that I could go get. But I'll save that for later, because it's a lot easier to get later. So we climb up here and get this item. We couldn't see that from up above. It's the red tear stone ring, which is like the blue tear stone ring. When we're low on health, it will do an effect, which is... Bait raises your attack. Now, there's a bunch of items you can use to manipulate that. I want to have this equipped because uh, the Dark Wraiths actually can drop Titanite chunks, and they have a very, very rare chance of dropping a Titanite slab. Ooh. That was terrible. I was just trying to grab that item. Was about as worse, as bad as I could do without actually getting killed there. Is that all you're gonna do here? At least I have a wide open area to fight this guy in. They won't. These guys won't aggro uh, inside there. You have to actually kind of lead them in. close. I see he was thinking the same thing. I guess he's almost dead too. Ugh. I'm doing very badly here. Doing awful on these uh, timing here. Okay. So that's fine. There's more of these dragons. I think there's two uh, up to an item I could get over there. And now we get the brigand stuff and another spider shield, which is the starting gear for the uh, bandit. So. Let's go back into dead body land. So this place is kind of gross. Squishy. Uh, you know what? We could... No, that would be stupid. I was going to say we could visit the bonfire up there. Uh, over by the uh, dark root basin. But that that's silly. Like, uh, that's, that's much farther, and I have to go past a bunch of dragons to get there. I might as well just walk from Firelink. It's not actually that great of a distance between here and Firelink, um, now that I've unlocked everything. 
It's a fairly short distance, and I just walked off an edge there. And in this area, that is a very bad thing to do. I'm just kind of looking around, because there's items in this area. Uh, in this zone or whatever. That are hidden pretty well, and I haven't done this in a while. So. And there's a bunch of these dark wraiths around, too. Let's drink another Vestus. I have a feeling that I'm going to die before I get the chance of uh, fighting the boss anyway. They're quite easy to parry and to... Uh, to backstab. And they have a weird... They have another attack where they... They uh, take humanity from you. They can drop uh, a weapon. It's called a uh, Hand of Darkness, and you can use that to steal humanity from NPCs. So in here we have uh, sort of a... Uh, sort of a church with a couple of dark wraiths, and a mini-boss inside. I think this is the place with the mini-boss, actually. Could be wrong. Oh, they, there's there, there's that. That's kind of their grab. Um, it also doubles as a shield, which looks really cool, but sucks. And it's one of the... Yeah, you see that uh, thing? It summons those uh, explodey heads. Now these things, this thing doesn't respawn. It's basically a bunch of dead bodies congealed into a mass. It's kind of hard to see, but uh, throw some lightning spears at it. Let's activate these guys. Five thousand souls. They don't drop anything. hero. Oh, there he is. Alright. Hmm. Still in his invincibility frames. They're not, uh... They're not too tough. Let me tell you. There's quite a lot of them here, though. Which is something to be concerned about. Now, if you remember, we're looking for an ember for our friend in the catacombs. And that's probably going to be in a treasure chest rather than on a body. The only uh, embers we've seen on bodies were on those specialized looking uh, blacksmith bodies. So, yeah. These guys give a lot of souls too. This is the area I was th I think of when I, I want to farm souls, I suppose, because uh, they have really good drops aside from their souls. These and the Silver Knights in New Londo. Although, once you get the weapons from the Silver Knights in New Londo, they're not necessarily all that valuable as far as drops go. Okay, so in here we have another elevator. I don't think we want to be using that just yet. I want to go up here. Whoa, almost walked off the edge there. And there are still ghosts in this area, but uh, they're kind of... It's kind of weird how they are. Um, they kind of come in from the other areas, if that makes any sense. Uh, like, they, they go in through the walls and things like that. It's uh, certainly kind of annoying. And this, this this entire area is basically like two or three buildings um, 
just uh, kind of stacked on top of each other. And that is an edge. Okay. Um, although the the rest of the area is kind of like the rest of the city, uh, you can't really get to that stuff. So here we are. A treasure box. This is not a mimic. And inside we get the very large ember. This will allow us to upgrade weapons up to plus 15. Which it will say if I look at it. Um. Yeah. Now why Vamos would want that is beyond me. Considering that he doesn't actually work with things like that. Um. I don't know. He does mention it, though. So let's keep going. Now, with the darkness, it's kind of hard to tell where you're going. Um, so I'm just kind of going by memory. And I might miss a couple items here and there because of that. But since they kind of glow in the in the, the distance, it's not that difficult to find them usually. The ones I would be thinking of that I would miss are like ones that are on bodies and and uh, and pots and stuff. So the elevator actually leads us back up. And we came in through this way. I could tell because of all the dead bodies. And then over here, there really isn't anything over here. And then over here, there's another area out here. Which this is kind of a this is kind of a shortcut area. You can jump in from up there. I'll show you what I mean in a minute. Uh, to get down here, and it's it's quite a bit of a shortcut from the aha. Oh, there we go. Look at the dark hand. It looks very cool. Um, I'll equip it. This is the only fist weapon we have. No, I got I bought a claw too from uh, the one guy before I killed him. You can see, it's really strong. It has uh, 99 durability and has the unholy effect. It also has... Eh, you know what? I take it back. It does have pretty good block for magical stuff. It just doesn't have very high stability. So, it's got a block here. And then you can, like... Um, absorb humanity with the strong attack. Let's just uh, unequip it there. Another proud knight. I gotta be careful around here because the edge of the water kind of sneaks up on you in areas like this. At least it does me. Over here we have another guy. On a bridge here, and I don't have my shield equipped. <laughs> I realized that because I tried to block and I punched. I notice that I'm backstabbing them. I'm kind of like around the corner from them almost. Oh. Ah. Um. I haven't gotten a, a chunk yet from them. I forget what's in here. Ah, there we go. As I said, these guys actually drop them too. And used for standard weapons and, and armor and uh, 
the uh, lightning weapons. There's another well with a dude on it with more cracked red eye orbs. Very cool, I suppose. Here's another dark area. With, I don't know if you can hear that, but there's another one of those slime beasts in here. I think. Could be misremembering that. Oh, oh, be careful. Oh, God. <laughs> Fighting those two of those at once is not, it's not that good of an idea. Let me tell you. Alright. Well, at the very least, we've got all of our stuff recharged now. That's one of those places where ghosts can get you to. Alright, I guess it's time to show you these shortcuts in that area. Now, they're not... They're not anything, uh... That would be super useful, uh, unless you know what, where you're going to right over that area. Uh, but you can't get there from the very beginning like a lot of other shortcuts. But it's still very nice. Well, I suppose that's really what what you mean by beginning, I, I suppose. The beginning of this area, yes, definitely. But, like, all the way up from Firelink, no. Although, I suppose it would be a lot worse if you were coming in here from uh, Darkroot Basin. I, I suppose that's partially the intention of that uh, the, uh, the Valley of the Drakes being shaped that way, is that Theoretically, if you were to go looking for the Seal of Artorias, or the Covenant of Artorias, and then go through that area, it wouldn't take that long to get back down, but, I mean, you would have to fight the dragons multiple times to get through that area, so. So as you can see now, there's quite a bit of unwatered areas here. I guess since I have so many of these, I'll just go ahead and use one. Um, this bonfire, by the way, back at Firelink, is really only useful for two bosses. Uh, this one and... I suppose three bosses if you're going to count... Uh, if you're going to go straight from Firelink to... Uh, the Capra Demon. So now that the water is down, we can kind of get over to here. Um, you see my souls over there. If you roll off here, you'll go down into this area, which is pretty close to where we were just a moment ago. And we can go ahead and uh, take care of all these guys. All these guys at this moment, at the moment, being a singular dark wraith, but hey, whatever. And because I, because of the darkness, I got turned around. Yes, here are my souls. And my four humanity. I don't know if dark wraiths give you humanity. I wouldn't imagine they would. You gotta be careful around the water there. There's still water, and you will die. Let's try to pull out something here. Yeah, something's coming at me. There we go. And a ghost. Oh, there's another ghost. See it? It's just kind of this gross thing. 
I suppose since I have a holy weapon, I'm dealing quite a bit of damage to these guys. I'll give you a closer look at this. It tries to stab you with its kind of pseudopods here. Tentacles, whatever. This thing looks like it'd be more appropriate in uh, the catacombs or something, but... And I'm surprised there aren't more of these things throughout the game. They're kind of scary enemies. Uh, from the way they look, I should say. They're not very intimidating as far as what they actually do. And they actually spawn these dudes here. Some under more ghosts, but you can see they're coming from so high up that they don't actually come down at you. Unless you're right there. Usually I don't even bother worrying about that ghost that comes down. Oops, I got kicked. Now the weapon they have you can get from the Covenant. Uh, you can join this, basically these guys. I think they're still hostile to you if you join the Covenant, which makes sense. They're kind of evil. Hey, activate, bro. Um, but really... Uh, oh. But really the... I suppose there aren't necessarily any good or bad guys in this game. I mean, the Dark Wraiths are pretty much... Uh, unanimously called evil by the rest of the people in the game, but uh, if you... There's an ending involving them, I'll, I will sit, I'll put it that way. And it's... You could call it... Uh, you, could call, you could call it the bad ending, I suppose. Um, but... It remains to be seen. I mean, I guess Dark Souls 2 might involve what happens in this game. I, don't, I think it's not entirely related to it. I think it's just going to be kind of a general thing that, like, is sort of the same type of thing, but maybe not related to the story. We'll, we'll have to see. <laughs> 